Hey y'all, hi. Okay, it's happening. It is the lip product portion of my vicious collection-wide makeup declutter. Fall 2022. I guess it's winter now. December 2022. Holiday 2022. A holiday declutter. The project is to declutter my makeup collection down to something pretty tiny with which to start the year. I spend a lot of my makeup wearing time these days testing makeup. So it doesn't really make sense for me to have a very large collection of pieces of makeup that are my special pieces sitting around. They languish much more than they would otherwise languish if I didn't test makeup as part of my job. I have to give you the disclaimer, the vast majority of these products are products that I didn't pay money for. They are lip products that were either sent to me for review by brands or that the business of my YouTube channel purchased just for me to review not necessarily for me to keep and not necessarily because I even wanted them. Most of these lip products are just meant for me to use to create content. And that's why it's time to clear the decks, clear out all of the things that have already served their purpose of helping me create content and just keep the things that I want to use. If this happens to be your first time to my channel, then welcome. I hope you enjoy this. And if you do, I hope you'll subscribe because I'm in the middle of a declutter series. So there are a bunch more like this coming down the pipe. And now, Let's go ahead and get into the meat of the video. So this is what we're dealing with when they're all out of their boxes and containers. I'm feeling simultaneously really a bit overwhelmed. You know, I mean, it's, I haven't separated these out into glosses and lipsticks and different types of things. This is just every lip product. I'm a little bit overwhelmed and intimidated because as I was pulling them out, I was like, I love this one. I love this one. I just really love lip products. The feelings that I had when I was taking them out of their boxes and spreading them out, those pre-declutter feelings that are like, I don't know if I can do this. It's going to be hard for me to get rid of a lot of things because I really love them. I was having those feelings and it made me want to kind of give myself a moment where I'm like, Hannah, it's okay to keep a nice group of lipsticks. You know what I mean? I don't need to edit it down to just like three. I'm not going for hyper minimalism here. At the same time, this is just so much to get through. You know what I mean? It's going to be probably a, a bit of a mega video in the way that the blush declutter was. And I think that I am just going to go through piece by piece, not separating them out into groups because it's not a situation where I'm trying to keep like a balanced number of glosses and lip treatments or something. No, I'm just keeping the ones that I love the absolute most irrespective of the relationship between that product and the rest of what I'm keeping or not keeping. Okay, here we go. I need to just start. So the Glossier Balm.com in Birthday Cake is that right? TheBirthdayBalm.com. I actually have come to kind of like the balm.com. I besmirched it before because it's basically just petroleum jelly, but sometimes I just need to put something occlusive on my lips. And I've found it pretty useful to have a bunch of balm.coms lying around because I feel like I can always grab something, like there's always something to put on my lips to lock in the moisture. And I kind of like this one because it has a little bit of sparkle in it and it tastes and smells like vanilla. So my first instinct is to keep it, but we'll see. I'm going to do a reckoning at the end. And this is the kind of thing that I could see maybe not making it through if I end up with a whole bunch of this kind of thing. The mangobalm.com is probably my favorite. If I were just going to keep one, narrow it down to one or two, then this one would be in. So I'm definitely gonna set aside this as a probable keep. This is an Ellis Foss Lippy. I have a couple of them. Oh, just looking at it reminds me how much I love the Ellis Foss brand, the colors, the formulas. I never wear this though. Like it doesn't immediately say to me, I am your precious, I am your favorite. What it says to me is once most of these lippies are cleared out and you only have a few, maybe I will get some more play. I kind of want to give it that chance, at least here at the beginning of the de declutter, I feel like I want to give it that chance. So I'm going to set it aside as a possible keep. Oh my gosh, y'all, this is hard. 
hard. <laughs> when I laid into the blushes at the beginning, it was like declutter, declutter, declutter. And here I am laying into the lippies and I'm like, keep, keep, keep. So this is uh, a Kosas lipstick. This was from a full brand review that I did of Kosas. It's a shade Vegas. I just really like the formula. I never wear it because I have too much lipstick, but I would like to wear it more. I think I need to just do a first pass that's like instinct. Like, do I love it or am I over it? Kind of. And not beat myself up and just keep everything that I feel like I want to keep and then do a second pass where I'm a little bit more ruthless. So this is going to stay and keep for the first pass. This isn't a lippy. It's in the wrong place. This is also in the wrong place. This is a ColourPop gloss. ColourPop sends me a little bit of PR every once in a while. I've sort of drifted from the brand as a consumer, but the funny thing is sometimes there's something really great in the things that they send me. And this is one of those things. It's a gloss. It's the So Glassy gloss. It's probably not even available anymore. You know, ColourPop, it's like the fast fashion of makeup. So they're always making things and then discontinuing them immediately. And I don't even know if with my lighting, you'll really be able to see. It's just really sparkly. You can kind of see it more in the tube. And the formula is good. ColourPop does a good lippy. You know what I mean? They do a good gloss. And I just like it. I will sometimes take this with me when I'm traveling. I just like being able to slather on a thick, goopy, really shiny, glitter packed gloss. When I look at it, I'm like, oh yeah, that old thing. But I also just don't feel like decluttering, at least not this first round. All right. Doing very badly so far. Okay. This is something that can go. This, the rare being among these lippies, it's something that I bought myself on kind of an ill-fated trip to Ulta several months ago. I just, Drunk Elephant, I don't know. It's still, it's a brand that still has sort of a mythic allure for me. And at the time, my lips were really dry and I didn't really have anything truly nourishing. So I got it. It's the, what's it called? Maybe it's just called the Lippy Balm. I got it and I just hate it. It's so hard. It's hard and I it's totally unsatisfying to apply to the lips. It feels like rubbing a stick of wax onto your lips. And you can see it has these divots in it. That's for me like digging it out with my finger and emulsifying it and putting it on my lips. So that's what I've had to do to, you know, get it to emulsify and apply a thick enough layer to my lips, you know, that it's satisfying to me and feels like it might do something. But then I don't even feel like it's really moisturizing my lips. I just regret buying it and I don't want to keep it. This, however, product that I recently reviewed in my Violet Gray video, the Amicole Lip Oil. It's like a thick, quite glossy, nourishing lip treatment oil gloss hybrid thing. And I absolutely love it. Definitely keeping that. This is also in the wrong place. Oh my gosh, why? Have I, oh, I guess I decluttered one thing. Why am I doing so badly? Have I just not gotten to the, to the juicy ones or am I just not in the declutter mindset today? I don't know, but I'm going to have to get it together. I have a feeling that the second round is going to be vicious. This is Victoria Beckham Girl. This is also from a brand review that I did of Victoria Beckham. And I don't know, I, I have a, I would say I have a handful of products this color, basically lip products this color. And maybe what will happen at the end is that they'll sort of all go head to head and I'll just pick the nicest one. But this might end up being the nicest one because the packaging is so beautiful. The formula is also pretty good. I do like owning this. I don't feel like it is an easy candidate for declutter. Wow, I'm just the worst. Okay, here's something that I can declutter. This is a Bobbi Brown gloss. It is the crushed oil infused lip gloss. And let me tell you, it's a great product. It is a great moisturizing, juicy gloss with a beautiful pigment level, very pretty color. This is in the color Free Spirit. It was PR kind of a long time ago at this point, and that's why I'm going to get rid of it because it's just old. It's a couple of years old. And I think that if I had a much smaller makeup collection or if I wasn't, you know, constantly reviewing makeup, I might be pushing it a little bit more in terms of how long I would keep a product when it gets to that point where I'm like, oh, that's probably pretty old, but it's probably probably still kind of okay. But in my life with all of these lipsticks, what happens when something gets like two and a half years old is that it's not necessarily maybe too old to ever use again, but it's gotten old enough that I just feel like it's unrealistic to think that I will really use it very many times ever again. You know, it's like close enough to the end of its life with me that it's okay to declutter it, especially when I'm trying to shrink what I own. So this can go, and I think there are gonna be a lot of other things that go for for that same reason. The Glossier Vanillic Lip in Disco. This is actually pretty much brand new. I had an unopened one and I opened it recently. 
The same is true of Pony here. They're both pretty much brand new. This is a discontinued product that I really love from Glossier. Again, haven't been wearing them much. Would like to wear them more because I love this formula so much. But because it's such old news and because they are discontinued, they might not make it through the second round. The Summer Fridays Lip Balm in Vanilla Beige. I've been wearing this a lot. This has actually been a great kind of nourishing product for me. This is actually another thing that I bought myself, another one of those rare products. It tends to be nourishing, sort of simple nourishing lip products that I buy myself. I sometimes get to a point where I'm casting around and I'm like, oh my gosh, I don't have a lip balm. I don't have any of those hybrid nourishing products. I need to buy one. I feel like I've used more than half of this, it's harder for me to get rid of because I bought it myself. I don't love it as much as I love some of the ones I've acquired recently, like the Ami Cole, the ones from Make Beauty. But because I bought it myself, it's funny, it feels more wasteful to get rid of it. But if I'm honest with myself, I think that at this point I will always default to the Make Beauty Serum Balm or the Ami Cole instead of this. So I think I'm going to put it in the declutter box and then kind of see how I feel at the end about how many nourishing sort of hybrid products products I've ended up keeping. The Persona Lip Gloss in Twilight. I love this gloss. I absolutely love the Persona gloss, but this I just, again, both of these Persona glosses, I just, they're kind of old. I've just, I've had them for years at this point. They were PR years ago when I lived in the, my downtown apartment in LA. And at this point for me, that's just feeling kind of old. I'm aware that I've been putting these on my lips since before the pandemic, basically. It's time for them to go. Okay, this is a really tough one. I am trying to keep my feet to the flame about not keeping things for sentimental reasons these days, and this really tests that resolve. Oh, but you know what? It does feel like the formula is, is changing. It's getting kind of gummy. So that makes it a little bit easier. This is a Finding Ferdinand lipstick that my beautiful, wonderful, extraordinary friend, Ted, Buffalo Beauty Boy, created for me with Finding Ferdinand after I had watched Ted's Finding Ferdinand video, been inspired, made my own lipsticks with Finding Ferdinand, made a video about that. Then Ted and Finding Ferdinand got together and made me this color which at the time felt really, really pink to me. Like it was really different for me and it was like Ted pushing me outside of my comfort zone. And since then, it's become something that is a little bit more comfortable for me to wear. The color was just perfect. I mean, it was, it's, it was perfectly something that I didn't wear much at the time, but that does suit me, you know? So it was just, it was a real serve. But more than that, it has just brought me so much joy to own this, to have it with my lipsticks, to see the bullet and to feel those feelings of, just connection and community that it represents. But I know that decluttering it does not mean that my connection with my friend will be diminished, my love for this community will be diminished, or any of the memories around this will be diminished. If anything, it kind of intensifies that to have this moment with it and to, you know, thank it and thank Ted for its specialness in my life and let it go. Okay, here's a really old balm.com. Uh, I've had this for years and it's, you know, actually I've used quite a lot of it and the, and it's all yucky. So, you know, I have others. This is definitely not going to be one of the ones I want to keep. Cure Weiss Confidence. I just love these Cure Weiss lipsticks. I love the way the pigment interacts with the formula. I love the colors. This is a tough one to let go. And same with the other one, Euphoria. Although, you know what? Euphoria is a little bit more of like a normal color for me. This is kind of like a rusty red, whereas Confidence, this is the one I always think of when I think of these lipsticks. It's this really bright, almost fluorescent. I'm gonna keep this one, but I think I can let go of the other one. This is uh, an hourglass gloss that I got for a review a while back. It's called Cosmo. It's a little bit plumping, and it sort of got that NARS orgasm color. You know what I mean? Like a pink with a gold shift. I really like it. I like wearing it. I like how it looks and feels. It's an elegant formula, kind of thin feeling, like wet feeling, but it has tenacity. But it has a minty taste and smell that I don't like, and I'm going to let that be the reason that I declutter it because I like a lot of things about it and it's hard to let it go. However, I know that I wear it less frequently than I otherwise would because of that taste and smell. This is in the wrong place. Gucci Goldie Red is definitely staying, you know, one of the best. The Isom Lip Liners. Ugh. 
So it's actually called the Dual Lip Pencil, this product from Esam. This is the entire collection. They're double-ended lip pencils. I love them. I love the formula. I love the spectrum of colors. I love knowing that I'm always gonna be able to find a lip liner that goes with whatever lipstick I'm wearing. I think what I'm going to do is to keep these and let that be a reason to let go of a bunch of my other lip liners. We'll see. This is one of my favorite lipsticks of all time that's getting kind of old. I actually don't know what I'm gonna do about this. It's the YSL Slim Glow Matte Lipstick. Okay, opening it and rolling it up is making me realize that I think of it as one of my favorite lipsticks of all time and I wore it a lot for the first like year after I got it. I love it, I love the shape, I love the color, I love the sort of thin waxy formula and I'm just not wearing it. I think I can let it go. All right, we're really, we're kind of getting into it now. I'm starting to feel that gratifying feeling when I'm honest with myself about how much I'm really using something and I kind of separate the fantasy of owning it from the reality of owning it and make the right decision to declutter it. Kind of getting there, getting into it. Let's go, let's go is how I feel. So here are some lip liners from BK Beauty that are beautiful. They make a great lip liner, really pretty colors, and I like them, but these I can let go because I kept those ones from Esam. I'm just more familiar with the Esam ones. I think of them more often. I know the colors. I'm like, they're in rotation, you know what I I mean, I don't need to keep similar products in similar colors. This is something I actually really like and that's pretty new. I got this uh, when I reviewed Kosas just this past year. It's the Hyaluronic Lip Balm in the shade Flow. They're very pigmented, these balms, and they're also very, very nourishing. This is something that I'm looking forward to wearing more frequently once the collection's kind of thinned out. Another bomb.com. This is the lavender one, which I, I'm kind of fond of. Just I just am keeping it for now. Okay, here we're getting into the juicy stuff, right? This is raw chocolate. It is a Maybelline matte and iconic lipstick in my collection. Those of you who've been around for a while will know. I have loved it and worn it for so long. I bought it for myself years ago. This is another, it's like a pre-pandemic lipstick. And it's weird that it's time to get rid of it, but it is. It's just, it's a drugstore lipstick that's like three years old, you know? And I feel like it served me really well. It's really held down the fort, but I have other lipsticks. I even have other lipsticks at this point in beautiful beautiful brown colors. Back in the day when I first got this, it was like I couldn't find a beautiful brown lipstick to save my life. And I think that they're just, they're much more available now. And so for all practical reasons, I feel okay about decluttering this. This is a beautiful product from Erin's Faces. It's a lip balm in the shade Flush, and it's just like a really lightly pigmented, nourishing, tinted lip balm. I have gotten a lot of use out of this, and it was fe it's been featured in like my top 10 lippies several times. However, I haven't been wearing it as much going into this winter because I have so many other kind of gloss balm hybrid, serum balm type things going right now that I'm testing. I'm really glad that I got to know this product. I love this brand, Erin's Faces, but I don't think I need to keep this one right now. This is an example of what I was talking about. This is the Make Beauty Serum Balm in Nude Nova. And I actually bought this myself recently. I have had one of these that I used up completely. I missed it. And I just, it's just the best. It's like the best lip treatment. The kind of lip treatment that I will slather on at night or on days when I'm not wearing makeup. It's not really makeup. You know what I mean? It's just like the best skincare for the lips. I'm so glad that I got it. I'm actually wearing it today. This is maybe like my top lippy right now, you know, so it's going nowhere. Here's an M Cosmetics lip liner, an oldie but a goodie. It's in the shade Kitten. It's also one that can go because I'm keeping all of those ones from Esam. I think I can also let go of the, these ones from Patrick Ta, which I only have because Joe got them for me to review. I recently applied one of these on camera in the Makeup I Forgot to Review video. So if you're interested in a full demonstration of these products from me, then you know click through and watch that video. It's a fantastic product, but these aren't really good colors for me. And if I ever want a color like this, I have it, again, in the Esam lip liner. 
So these can go. However, two lip liners that I am keeping as the exceptions to the rule, the Khaki Lip Liner from Thrive. Khaki sent this to me. I love the color. It's not just sentimental, right? I appreciate that my friend designed it, but it also is a great color, works really well, great formula. And I do find myself using it, even though I have the ones from Esam. It's like, I remember it. It exists in my makeup mind palace, and that's what means it's staying. And this I actually wore when I got married, and it's still going strong. It's a Lancome lip liner in natural mauve, and it's just a really sticky, sturdy formula, which I appreciate, and I actually wear this a lot too. All right, I have some more hard decisions to make. Givenchy Mandarin Bolero, probably one of my favorite lipsticks of all time. Both the color, Mandarin Bolero, which is like this fluorescent watermelon, but somehow really wearable, and also this limited edition packaging. This was PR years ago. I know that it's past its prime and I'm not wearing it. This is the exact kind of lipstick that this declutter is designed to exhume from my collection. So I'm gonna let it go, but you know, with a moment of appreciation for how lovely it is. The Merit Serum Balm Intense, which I reviewed recently. This is in the shade Milky Way. This is a great product and it's pretty much brand new. So I'm gonna keep it. I have these Kaja glosses. I quite like them actually. This is PR as well. Kaja sends me a little bit of PR every once in a while. Milk Tea and Pink Drink. They're a little sticky for me though. I feel like if I'm gonna wear a gloss right now, I'm gonna wear one that has that kind of watery, slidey, really hydrating feel. These are such classic glosses and they're really good. I wear them a little bit, but I think maybe not enough to merit keeping them in this declutter. And it's that thing of like, they're good, but they're not my precious. I think I need to remember, I'm just keeping my precious. The Gucci lippies though, they are my precious. This is Janet Rust and Lorna Dune. And I'm definitely keeping them. A little bit sentimental as well because Janet Rust was a gift and Lorna Dune I also wore when I got married, but that's not the only reason I'm keeping them. I don't know where a royal scandal is. I don't think it's here. This is another piece of ColourPop PR. It's the Lux Lip Oil in Gleam On. As you can see, I've had it for quite a while. You can tell because, you know, the writing is wearing away. This is a great product from ColourPop, the Lux Lip Oil. It's just, it's really nourishing, hydrating, thin, beautiful. It's great. However, I am not going to keep this because I grab it when I can't find something else that serves this purpose. Like when I can't find one of my Make Beauty ones or the Merit Lip Oil or anything, then I'll just reach for this because I can't find those. My hope is that by clearing things like this out of my collection, I will more frequently be able to find those, you know? I might hang on to this one though. This is the same formula, same product, but obviously different because it's bright red and I don't really have anything quite like this, this sort of jelly-like clear red. And it's also brand new. This is PR that ColourPop just sent to me. I'm kind of still testing it. It has a little way to go. I'm gonna keep this for now. All right, here we have more drugstore lipsticks that kind of occupy the same niche as Maybelline Raw Chocolate. However, Mink, Revlon Mink and Rum Raisin are not quite as old as Raw Chocolate was. Gone Grage is, it's old, but I think it's hard to get. You know what's interesting? This Maybelline Gone Grage, one of my favorite lipsticks of all time. I just live for this. It is, again, pre-pandemic, several years old. I haven't been wearing it lately, probably partly because I'm testing other things, but also because it's so old. I don't wanna declutter this for age unless I'm sure that I can replace it. Like I really, really, really love this lipstick, the color, everything. I think I'm gonna set it aside. I think it might be discontinued. I'm gonna look into buying a replacement for it a fresh one. And if I can't replace it, I might keep it just for swatch purposes, just to see how similar to it other products are, because this is a very unique balance of tones to me. It really has like a, a place in the landscape of my thinking about color for lip products. And I wouldn't want to give up the reference point. I don't usually keep things for that reason, but this one is so unique and so high in my esteem that I think I will keep it for that reason. Revlon Mink and Revlon Rum Raisin, this is Mink and this is Rum Raisin, are two of the absolute best colors of all time, drugstore lipstick formulas of all time. They're just so good. The thing is, I found out when I was reviewing and swatching the Merit lip formula, I 
I found out that Merit Lavenue, which is this lipstick right here, is really similar to Revlon Rum Raisin. Like they have a lot in common. It wouldn't, it doesn't look like they would in the bullet because Lavenue looks darker, but they really are the same on the lips. And here we have Revlon Mink next to Merit 1990, which I actually prefer a little bit because it's just a little bit more cool toned. And this is maybe my most worn Merit lipstick. I love these Merit lipsticks so much. I really love the formula. Swatching the Revlon lipsticks again here is reminding me how good the formula is of them as well. I mean, these are just four really great pieces of makeup. But the way things are going for me right now, I'm reaching for these Merit lipsticks a lot. I just feel connected with them and in tune with the colors and the way they work with different looks. These two are not too old to use, but I think they're getting closer to the end of their life. And I think it makes more sense for me to keep the complement of Merit lipsticks that I have and not keep the dupes. After I made that swatch video about Merit lipstick, I didn't keep all of them. I just kept Tiger, 1990, Cabo, Baby, and Lavenue. And the other ones I gave away to my cousin. Oh. Here's a royal scandal. This is Gucci, a royal scandal. It's my all-time favorite lipstick. It was just sitting there, but it was sitting up on its end, so I didn't see it. Let's talk about these dragon lipsticks from ZC. This is tough. I really, I mean, you all know, if you saw me open these when they first sent them to me, I mean, I'm a sucker for ornate stuff, different stuff. I just got all excited about this ZC makeup when it came onto my radar, and it's undeniably awesome, right? Like, the packaging is undeniably awesome. Awesome. And the formula is really good too. And then they came out with these more neutral colors, which was exciting. When they first launched these dragon lipsticks, they only had reds and they came out with these more neutral colors. Here's the thing. The packaging, it's like because it occupies this place of novelty in my life and in my history making content, I just don't think of them as lipsticks that I wear. So they sit in my drawer, I think of them fondly, but they've never really gotten into rotation. And I thought that these browns would get into rotation. This one I clearly did use some and I also dropped it on the ground and it got smashed, which is why it's looking like that. But it's basically the same color as A Royal Scandal by Gucci, which I wear all the time. And somehow the Gucci lipstick, even though it's also ornate and fancy, somehow it it's like approachable to me. You know what I mean? It feels accessible to me. And these, they just never really made it all the way into the inner circle of my lipsticks that I wear. Opening them now though, this is such a great color. It's hard to not want to keep that, but again, I have my perfect brown already. This one might even be lighter and milkier than a Royal Scandal, which is really great. The formula is great. This one doesn't tempt me. It's too pink for me. That one's definitely too orange for me. That is a really pretty kind of soft red. That kind of makes me want to wear it. Okay, here's the thing. This milky brown right here is the one I want to keep because that's like my dream lipstick color. But it's so busted from having been dropped on the ground. I mean, like, that's how busted it is. I'm gonna let that be the reason that I don't keep it, even though the color is so pretty. I'm not gonna keep the one that's the same as a Royal Scandal or either of these. I'm gonna hang on to this right now. Maybe at the end, if I compare it to other things and I find I have something that's quite similar in color, I'll let it go too, because I'm really not wearing them. I like the idea of keeping one of these dragon lipsticks and actually interacting with it more. We'll see. This is an incredible piece of K-Beauty makeup from the brand 3CE. It is in the shade Explicit. It's like a really, really, really rich velvety red, but it's old and I don't really wear it that much. It can go. This is the lipstick from La Bouche Rouge that I recently reviewed in my Violet Gray makeup video. I'm gonna keep this and I am also gonna hang on to its cardboard case. Okay, we're getting down to it, friends. This is the last of the pile, at least for the first round. This is the Merit Lip Oil in Taupe. I wear this product a lot, and I wear Marrakesh a lot as well. They are two of my most worn lip products. Marrakesh isn't here. I'm sure it's just, I think it's in my office because I've been wearing it a lot. I'm keeping them both. Glossier Leo, the only color of Generation G that I ever really loved. I coveted this back when it was hard to find, like a nice, warm, but true brown, and I just don't covet it anymore. I have plenty of things that serve the purpose that this used to serve in formulas that I like better. 
The cookiebutterbalm.com, though, I don't know. I'm going to put it in the keep pile for now. We're going to have to have a balm.com reckoning at the end. The Rose Ink Lipstick. This, I got this in the second round of review products for Rose Ink. I really love it. Rose Ink makes such good products. The formulas are so good. This lipstick is no exception, but this is a classic product that I just, I got it just for review. It's beautiful. I got the information about it when I got it for review and I was able to apply it on camera and relay that information to you all, but I would never have bought it for myself because it's just, it's just a really good lipstick in a really basic color. I have no like active reason to let it go, but I also have no active reason to keep it. So that's going to be the reason that I don't keep it. This is one of my favorite pieces of makeup of all time. <laughs> you already know the Rouge Powder Lip Palette. It's going to stay. Ilia Memoir. This is a great product from Ilia, but it too is really similar to the Merit Lavenue lipstick. It's the Ilia Balmy Tint. I would love to have the Balmy Tint in a different color. It's, it's also just like a little bit dark for me to wear it in that sort of slather it on way that I would like to wear this formula because it's so nourishing and lovely. I just, I know for a fact that it's a dupe for Lavenue and I'm gonna keep Lavenue and not Memoir. I love this Ellis Foss gloss. It's really, really unusual. The color, I love wearing it. It kind of reminds me of the M Cosmetics Infinite Lip Cloud and Faded Clementine. I mean, the color kind of reminds me of that. I'm definitely gonna keep this. It's pretty unique in my collection. This is another Ellis Foss lip product. I think I can let this one go because the color is just a little bit more basic. You know what I mean? I have other things this color. This product from Kaja, this was PR recently. I love the color, but it has a really strong fruity smell and I just, I'm not really wearing it because of that. The Pat McGrath Gloss. This is a little gift with purchase when I got a Pat McGrath palette to review back in August. I like the formula quite a lot and I wore it again recently in a video where I was reviewing makeup that I hadn't yet reviewed. It is a very good, professional, effective, just straight up lip gloss, like makeup artist lip gloss. And I am just much more likely to use something with those nourishing qualities like the one from Merit when I need a product in this capacity. So I am not going to keep this. Another old favorite from ZC. This is one of their Picasso lipsticks. It has the Demoiselles d'Avignon painting on it. I mean, it's just so great. It's hard to declutter this because it feels like a collector's piece, you know what I mean? And the lipstick isn't bad either. I like the color. But the thing is, that feeling, that sort of collector's piece feeling, that's why I've kept this through a bunch of past declutters. Like, I have kept this and kept this and kept this because it's so special and beautiful. And I've worn it a little bit. And I've just gotten to the point where I'm like, I just don't want it taking up space anymore. Let's let this beautiful imagery that I'm capturing now with my camera, let's let that be the thing that I'm collecting. You know, like that's the memory. That's what it has done for me. I don't need to hold on to this physical item anymore to appreciate how special it is. The Isamaya Gloss Black Veil. Wear it all the time. Love it so much. Definitely keeping. This is a great gloss also from Erin's Faces, but it's also something I've had for quite a while and just haven't been using as much lately. So I'm gonna let that one go. I really liked this House Labs lipstick when I reviewed it. I was so impressed by it and I kept this because I was like, wow, it's a really great formula and it's a really beautiful red. But when I wanna wear a red, you know what I'm wearing? Velvet Dragon. Lisa Eldridge Velvet Dragon. My favorite red of all time. This is like the red to end all reds in my life and I don't need to keep this. This I just got to review. You know what I mean? It served its purpose when I made that content. I'm also going to, am I going to keep Velvet Fawn? I actually, I think I'm not going to keep it. It's always, so the bullet is broken. It's really soft and it's broken at the bottom. It's always just a bit stronger of a color on me than I expect it to be. It doesn't really look like that in the swatch right now, but when I wear it, it feels like a rich rosy color. There's like a dissonance between what I think of it as and what it actually looks like on me. And because of that, I don't think to wear it as often as I do some of my other lipsticks. So I think I'm okay with not keeping this. 
This is a Kaja lip treatment product. It has a scrub on the bottom and it has a really thick nourishing lip balm on top. As you can see, I've used some of it. I think it's really well formulated. It smells like pineapple. It's like pina colada smell. But again, because of that really sweet, strong scent and flavor, I tend to shy away from it just practically, even though I think it works really well to nourish the lips. I'm not gonna keep it. This is from Gen C. This is a new-ish brand and they sent me some products for review. It's a good lipstick, but it's really not in my color. I haven't filmed with this yet though. Maybe I should put the Gen C products aside. I have a handful of them. I actually have enough kind of maybe to do a whole video or at least to incorporate them in a trying new makeup video. Yeah, these are in the wrong place. They should be in the box of makeup that I'm still testing for review. The Versed Lip Oil, a fantastic product. In fact, you can't see because it's filled back up with air, but it's mostly empty. I've actually used this almost completely up, so it can go in this declutter. And the City Lips Lip Plumper, I really love. I often put this on when I'm doing skincare, preparing to apply makeup, just to give my lips a little boost. I'm gonna hang on to this for now. Okay, here's the situation. These are the things that I have decluttered. And these are all the lipsticks and lippies and lip glosses and lip products of every kind that made it through the first round. I don't wanna keep them all, this is too much. We have to go again and we have to go hard. Okay, here are the keeps, the current keeps. I think what I need to do is to go through and ask myself, is it my precious of each of these products? And in doing so, narrow it down. I'm gonna separate these out. I'm gonna um, organize them again a little bit. At this point, I think it will help me to kind of see when I have things that are similar to each other. All right, I'm definitely keeping the Rouge Powder Lip Palette. It's definitely my precious. Here we have the products that are genuinely lip glosses, right? I would just call these absolutely for sure glosses. I think that I can let go of this ColourPop gloss, even though I'm kind of fond of it. I'd rather wear the Ami Cole or the Isamaya gloss or even the Ellis Foss. Given that this one from City Beauty is a treatment product, I feel like this is a pretty reasonable, rational group of glosses to be keeping. Okay, and these are the ones that I have that are really just lip balm, right? They're not really about adding color. It's really about treating the lips. I'm actually not gonna keep the birthday cake balm.com. It's so sweet. I love the color of the cookie butter one. I love the way that it looks, but it's also quite sweet. I think I'm just gonna keep the mango and the lavender. I prefer this sort of herbal grounded flavoring for a treatment product like this. And of course I'm keeping the Make Serum. Okay, and these are products that are all what I would call like treatment, glossy, comfortable, but with pigment. And of these, it's curious. I actually think, even though I respect the formula so much, I think that it's the Kosas Sport Balm that's gonna go. Because for me personally, it's too pigmented for its format. If something's gonna be in this chapsticky format, I don't want it to be as pigmented as this is. I would love to have this in an unpigmented or less pigmented color. And I'm good with keeping the other four. It's this group, which is like lipstick, lipstick, sticky, sticky lipstick that I feel like I can afford to cull a bit. The Gucci lipsticks are all my precious. The Victoria Beckham is not really my precious color-wise.
Okay, this right here is the La Bouche Rouge Nude Brown lipstick. That's Victoria Beckham Girl. This is Kosas Vegas, and that's Merit Baby. Kosas Vegas is gonna go. It's the most orange, the most peachy orange of them. This right here is this ZC lipstick that I thought I might keep, M05. Right in the middle is Gucci Goldie Red, the lip wall, and that's Merit Cabo. I think I am going to keep this ZC lipstick kind of on trial. I'm gonna keep it on trial, see if I wear it, see if I like wearing it. If another month goes by and I don't wear it, I'll let it go. I really want to cull a couple more from here. I really have my sights set on an extremely edited lipstick collection that allows my favorites to shine. I'm gonna take out Victoria Beckham Girl. I just feel like it's peachier even than this one, the nude brown from La Bouche Rouge that I recently reviewed and found to be a bit too peachy. So if this one was too peachy, then what am I doing keeping this one? I think I can take out Kira Weiss Confidence as well. As much as I love that sort of semi-fluorescent red color, realistically, what I'm going to wear when I want a bright red, it's gonna be Merit Cabo, it's gonna be Janet Rust, it's gonna be Velvet Dragon from Lisa Eldridge. This is a good example of something that I loved making content with, that I loved wearing for a video that I don't need to keep. Okay, this is very edited. We have the Gucci, we have the Lisa Eldridge, and I also have Kitten Mischief somewhere. I know I have a couple Lisa Eldridge lipsticks coming for review, so this won't be the only one in the collection, but I might declutter Kitten Mischief. For now, it's just Velvet Dragon. We have La Bouche Rouge, we have ZC, and we have Merit. This is kind of more what I was imagining. I feel at peace with that. Oh, I forgot about this. I forgot about this brown Ellis Foss lipstick. You know what? Swatching it out like that, it's got a little bit more of an orange undertone rather than that kind of milky neutral. Well, I'll hang on to it. This is also, I'm keeping this on trial as well. I'm gonna try to wear this in the coming days. And if I don't love how it looks on me, I'll declutter it too. And then I think all of the liners, the Esam liners and the other two liners that I kept, all of them can stay. So this is the lippy edit right now. This feels pretty good to me. It still feels like a lot objectively, but you know, I love a lip product. This feels like enough to really play with and right on the edge of being too much given that I know I'll be reviewing new lipsticks in the new year. So I'm gonna have to keep an eye on this part of my collection. I didn't want to force myself. You know what I mean? I didn't want to edit it down to only one red because I just love, I love all the reds, you know? So I think I found a good balance. And I'm definitely letting go of way more than I'm keeping. Well, actually not way more. Uh, a quick and probably imprecise count of the declutter box turned up about 45 products that I'm decluttering. And what remains here is, I think it's over 30. 32 products. So, you know, it's more that I'm decluttering than keeping, but it's not nearly as dramatic as the blush declutter where it was like, a I just kept a fraction of my cheek products. And even though there are some beautiful products in the declutter box and even going through to count, I was like, wow, I can't believe that I'm letting go of all of these. This is just about as much as I can manage in my makeup mind palace. I'm feeling a lot better now that I've made all these decisions. Wow, putting them into their little container like this makes me feel a lot better about the degree to which I edited my collection. Everything fits into here. You know, there's the there's the Merit lip oil that I couldn't find kicking around. There's the Lisa Eldridge lipstick that I couldn't find. So it's a little bit more than this in reality. These ones don't fit into the little squares. They're too chubby. But it's really nice that I'll be able to just put this on my vanity and basically see all of my lippies in one place. This is the smallest that my lippy collection has been in a long time. So that is it. 
But thank you so much for spending this time with me. I hope that you enjoyed it or were able to drift off to sleep to it or whatever it was that you wanted from it. Please remember to subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. And don't forget to take extra good care of yourself so that you can be the most effective version of yourself as you do your work in the world. 